Welcome back guys. I have a huge mailbag for you today. We'll take a look at a bunch of new parts and goodies I got. So this one's kind of a bit of a bundle that goes together. I'll go ahead and get these out. First one from Hobby King. I got this on sale. It was on their super sale for 50 bucks and I thought this would make a great portable quad project. This thing is their folding all-in-one ready to fly quad. Actually it's a uh, needs a receiver but that's it. It's got a CC3D on board, motors, everything pre-wired, folds, fits in a case. I thought we'll give this a go and see for 50 bucks all in it might just be a good beginner quad. We'll do all these on a standalone video but I thought for that cheap quad what's the cheapest radio I could get my paws on and I managed to pick up this uh, older model Fly Sky. It's one below a little different than the TH9X I used for my aircraft. Uh, this is dirt cheap on eBay. Bottom of the barrel pricing. Uh, there are the newer ones and we'll have a look at one of those in a few minutes that we can do some pretty cool stuff but the bottom of the barrel cheap portable quad system. We'll see if we can make it. Also for the quads, <laughs> Hobby King had a bit of a sale. During that super duper deal on the quad, they also had props. A penny a piece. I picked up as many as I could grab. Uh, I think it was lots of 16 and a penny for a pair. And this was the one time the shipping was drastically more than the initial investment of the parts. It was a heck of a deal. These are all gem fan props. Um, we'll give them a try. I can't see how far wrong we could go. Now we can break props to our heart's content. For a VR goggle project I've got coming up, a Bluetooth remote control that we can hook to our mobile phone that I'll use in a VR headset. There'll be a video upcoming on this as well. This one was courtesy of GearBest. Uh, I agreed to do a review for them and the item I picked out, if I can get it out of the box, is this is a quad kit. This will show a complete video on, but long story short, these are the Emacs red bottom motors, a 210 carbon fiber quad kit, uh, 30 amp speed controls. This is a heavy duty kit. This is going to be a new racing quad build, my first proper racing quad build, and we'll give it a shot. This will get its own videos. For that quad, I picked out the FSI6 FlySky radio system. I think this is going to work just perfect for that quad. It's a little thinner than my TH9X and we can upgrade this from a 6 channel to a 10 with just a firmware flash. I think it's going to work out great. The price is the, the key here. These things are really reasonably priced. So is that quad kit and I think uh, it'll go, it'll be a good review and the price is reasonable for anyone to get into the hobby. That's how I pick items that we're going to build upcoming on the channel here. It's got to be reasonable for people to get into. This is that. few random packages that showed up. I haven't even opened these yet. Let's see what we've got. These are antennas, circular polarized, SMA style, standard FPV antennas. This is a data logger. This is, uh, I think they call them open log. Basically it's just uh, an SD card reader writer with a serial uh, interface on it that'll hook up to flight controllers to expand how much room we have for our black box data recording. Uh, I was going to try these with the CC3D but I'm not sure whether I'll bother yet. We'll see. What else we got? receivers for the fly sky radio this is the first radio i showed in the video here the old style i love these things i use them in my uh fixed wing aircraft they're dirt cheap and they work got three of them more fpv antennas that one got a little beat up in shipping same deal as before uh these are the not right angle SMA connectors, just standard straight in, handy for certain things. Uh, on, in particular, my quad setups now I'm using the right angle on the FPV transmitter, so these will stick straight up from the quad. And this one, 
We got just a cheap prop balancer. These are not the best thing out there, but they certainly will work. It's better than nothing. I'm gonna give this a try. Uh, we'll incorporate this into one of the quad build videos. Not much to it. Standard rare earth magnets, one end of the balancer just floats in the air here. The other, the point sits on there. Not much friction at all. Should, should work pretty good. And I needed some battery straps. So I grabbed, these ones are, I don't know what this is, but they were really, really cheap on eBay next to nothing, but they'll work good for holding my lipos on. Too bad they got somebody else's website and logo on them, but hey, whatever. For the price, you know me guys, I like frugal pricing. What have we got? Ah, oh, lipo alarms. These are just standard uh, lipo voltage alarms. These ones, you can actually set them to the voltage you want. They're they're really, really cheap on eBay. A couple of the guys in the local model club, at least one in particular, he didn't really know how to order these and didn't have any. And I thought, hey, when I'm ordering them, I just ordered a whole pile of them. I don't even remember how many this is. Probably about 10 of them. I think they were about a buck and a quarter each. This one is actually too big to get in shot here in the workshop. I'll go ahead and get it out of the box. We'll take a look at what it is. I'm pretty excited. During the flash sales at Hobby King, they put up an electric skateboard, a series of them. There was three different models. This is actually the most frugal priced street version board model. For those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you saw my hoverboard video. I did get one of the self-balancing scooters, aka hoverboards, and I thought, what a great idea to compare the two. I've always wanted one of the boosted boards since I first saw them. You see them on Casey Neistat's videos all the time. I I liked the I like the hoverboard, but not that much. Um, I'm going to give this a try and see how it works out. This will get its own standalone video, but in the bottom, we've got a pretty beefy looking motor here. Uh, drive belt system to one rear wheel and that's it. Battery compartment here and nothing special up front, just uh, big heavy looking trucks and really kind of oversized uh, wheels on this thing. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how it works out. It is heavy, uh, no question there, but nice surface on it. We'll, we'll give it its own review video. Comes with a pistol style remote. Basically, it just looks like um, something cheap from the RC industry been repurposed. And a uh, 110-volt charger. Good. It's got North American style end on it. I think we're good. We'll give it a try. I don't know how this is going to work, but I think it's going to be fun. Glad you guys could join me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little mailbag. I'll get some of these parts into service, and we'll make some videos of some fun stuff in the upcoming weeks. Cheers, guys.